Anyway, let's get started here. Um, for, my name is Paul Gauchi. You're welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Um, what this is all about is not me. This is about this incredible creator who's given us everything we need to experience abundant, wonderful lives. He's a good God. He loves us. And he's very generous. And in your experience today here, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to give you a demonstration of his goodness and how abundant it is. And I make a point to, to, um, to point out so many of the lies you've been taught in school. I'm amazed at how much we've been lied about. And as I'm paying attention to nature and what God does, all this stuff comes out. And I'll just show you. Just, you'll just be amazed. It's just how interesting it is. Let's walk over here. We'll start over here on this corner over here because I want to show you some things. I love contrast because they really give you a um, comparison of things to look at to see differences. Now these sequoia trees along my driveway are just teenagers. They're young, 18 years old. I planted when they were six to eight starts. And you can see by looking at them that they're quite green and healthy. That color green, miracle Grow won't do. And these trees are all maintained by the needles that fall every, every, every fall. You know, I think God's so interesting. You know, these are these are evergreen. They don't drop their drop needles. They're not supposed oh, to. You know how God gets them to drop needles? He sends a hot, dry summer, and the interior needles turn brown. It's called flagging, and then He sends a wind that puts it all on the ground. I love Him. He just does nothing He didn't miss. See, all of His deciduous trees they just drop their leaves, which is normal, but evergreens don't. So He sends a hot summer to get them to drop their needles to feed the soil below. It's just like. When you, start, when you start tracking and watching God, you just are like amazed at His genius design. And you know why God does a covering in the fall? When do farmers fertilize? In the spring. Spring. How stupid. You see, it takes time for gravity to carry the fertilizer to the root level. God does it in the fall, and then He sends rain and snow to make compost tea to build the soil for next spring's growth. What a great idea. And then he uses the gravity to all work for him, so it's no labor. I'm just telling you, man, when you start checking in and seeing what he does, you stand in awe at the wisdom. It's just totally amazing. Let's walk over here. I want to show you something interesting here. You see this little rhododendron that's growing next to my sequoias? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, all of you know that this ground underneath this rhododendron is covered, permeated with roots from that sequoia tree. You know, they're out there. And the ground is totally full of those sequoia roots. Look how dark green and healthy that is. Look at the look at the amount of leaves, new leaves on there. Come check it out. This is without any fertilizer, no irrigation. Look at how you can see all the dead flowers are in it, so it really bloomed beautiful this year. Look at how healthy this is. And this is growing right next to Sequoia that's sucking hundreds of gallons of water out of its ground. And this this is looking this good. To show you the contrast, I want you to notice my neighbor's rooted in right here. Everybody come look at this. This is this is what, what six feet away from it? Look at this rooted in. You see the color the healthy. color of the foliage? You don't have to be a rocket sense, this is not happy. You see it's got one flower. I, I want you to come here and see and I, I want to I want to show you the lies we're talking. Exactly. Anybody know about landscape cloth? Landscape cloth. A little bit. Yes. Everybody tries yes. to sell it. They tell you it will stop weeds. Yes. And it's so great. Here's an example of the lie. You can see the landscape cloth on the ground. It becomes exposed because the material laying on top of it can't connect to the soil. And so when the wind blows, it slides off. You see all the weeds growing in the wood chips on top of the landscape cloth. Did it stop it at all? And you see all the life in the wood chips are not getting to the to the to the um rhododendron because it stops it. It's not gonna, so all the benefits are being ripped off and lost and you still have weeds and then you have the ugly surface to look at when the wind blows it off. And you paid money for this. I did exactly that. You paid money for this. Which is totally it doesn't work, it's ugly and it's completely negative to everything you have growing. I'm just telling you, I want you to get that we're being lied to and we need to start paying attention to the Creator and ask. He says, in all of your ways acknowledge Him. Ask Him. Let me show you something, another interesting concept. You see this, this cherry tree right here? This is a Royal Land cherry tree that was planted 35 years ago. I was here when my neighbors planted it. 35 years. And you can see it's stressed. You can see the trunk's losing some bark and it's exposed. And you look at the foliage. You know, there's a lot of dead wood in there. It's not that happy. Let me show you contrast. This 
is a Royal Iron Cherry. You see directly behind the cars there? Oh, wow. There's a cherry tree. It's a Royal Iron. Do you want to hear something amazing? That tree is 20 years younger than this one. It's 15 years old. It's in exactly the same space for sun, in the same soil, but that's growing in a covering. It has wood chips over it. Look at the foliage difference. Look at the size difference. And it's 20 years younger. Walk over there and check it out.